it's blistering hot again. It's noon. Took about an hour just to do that one section there, maybe a little bit longer than that. Again, it is just sucking up the paint. But at least the spot over here where you can reach it on the ladder, it's kind of speed it up a little bit, being able to paint the other side from the ladder. Abby's up there. I don't know what she's doing. Besides so making a mess. Problem is this stain, as you know, it's like water. And it's getting everywhere, including the new siding. You got to say up here on the 4th of July there, Crabby. Happy Independence Day. Yeah, happy Independence Day. <laughs> it's hot. Extra crabby. Extra crabby today. Extra crabby. I was hoping we'd go crabby light today. That ain't happening. See, it's nice when you don't have to worry about the siding over here. That's why you gave me this side. Well, because you take your time. Yeah. I mean, you take your time, and as soon as she started, she dropped her paintbrush, and it bounced off the siding between that and the railing and went down. Not her fault. And I guess when you get to that age, your hands start getting more critic and stuff. And I guess there was no comment there. PG. This is PG? Yeah. Oh, this thing. 18 hours will be done. Yeah, another, I don't know, 20 some feet of railing, second coats and all that. Ah, should be done in no time. Got this tree we got to paint around. My container's empty. Got to go get a refill. I'm going to leave the camera on Crabby. Keep an eye on her. Make sure she's not dogging it. What do you got there, Krabby? Talk to the people. It's PGTV. PGTV, so she has nothing to say. <clears throat> it's hot. Woo! It's got more paint on me than the railing. In her defense, she had a paint between the fascia and the backs of the railings. There's only this much room in there. So she used her hands, apparently, to rub the paint around. First coat's done on this railing. We're going to take five 30. because then we're going to take 30 minutes, take 30 minutes. get some water and uh, relax a couple of minutes. Get a hat I, on. I need to, well, you know, it's one o'clock. I'm going to go wake my son up and have him help me move the big barbecue grill so we can paint behind that. But we should be able to breeze right through that railing. We didn't talk about that yet. Well, we could probably get one coat on it today. Get the whole first coat done on this, and then tomorrow put the second coat on, and we're done. What do you think? She thinks we're going to run out of paint. So I say we run out of paint then. I said it looked good rustic. It looked like an old beach house railing. You know, the paint's all weathered and worn. 
All right, taking a break. Well. Well, what, Caribby? What do you got to I say for to yourself? Say, I really have to say, this wasn't fun. Hold your hands up. As you can see, not a professional. Just a sloppy painter. It's Tired. like water, though. The, between water and 20 mile an hour winds, it's blowing all over the place. Tired, hot, and cranky. But everything has its first coat on it. Some of it has a second coat. <sighs> and we both have a sunburn. Oh, yeah. Man, my forehead is on fire. I wish Krabby would have reminded me to put a hat on. A couple of minutes. No comment. Get a hat I on. I need to. Yep. So, there everything's got a first coat on it. Even things that aren't supposed to have a first coat. And that's just the rails. We still have to do the floor. Right there, Sparky? Oh, I thought you think that'll be a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah I think it'll be a lot easier. Still a lot of cutting in. But... Yeah, but if you have patience, I could do that. And then you could just knock the boards out quick. Could. You still have to be careful it doesn't splash on the rails and all, though, uh, when you're using a roller. They have a roller with a guard on the top. Do they? I don't know. I'm asking. Maybe they do. All right. Well, we'll have, have to see. Investigate. You know what we're going to do now? What? Get cleaned up and relax. Krabby's being nice to me. Told me I can, I can cook hamburgers and hot dogs and hot sausages tonight for dinner. He might. She won't eat. She won't eat that? No, they're eating now. They probably no. have big sandwiches. They're not going to eat. Okay. But we'll have it if they want it. All right. We're having it. We're having it. All right. Bye. We'll see you. We'll check back. I don't know that I have a, anything interesting to say. Well, I have a question. Oh, okay. Where you been? What do you mean? We've been out here painting since 9 o'clock this morning. Oh, well, we were sleeping for a little bit. And then I spent 45 minutes getting our lunch. Yeah, we were on the everything's porch. Everything's packed out here. Actually, I was cold on the porch. We had to come in. <laughs> it was really cold. Yeah, I'm not cold. I'm sunburned. Yeah. Sunburned. And also just, I get cold all the time now. Yeah, it's well, just, just I have like... to say something, too. Last night, sitting on the porch, made my night. Sitting on the porch... Stephen. Hi. And Canoli. Hi. Come driving up. Of course, Canoli's in the passenger seat. Stephen jumps out of the car, opens up the door for Canoli. She gets out of the car, no cane. No cane. And walks, walks right over to the gate, opens the gate, comes in, puts her bag down, starts walking around the porch like, what? <laughs> you you missed the part. You missed the part where I walked up the steps like a regular Like person. a regular person. Mm -hmm. You did. Very proud of you. Thank you. See, that's what's gotten her through this this far. Her amazing disposition. <laughs> what was that for? Her amazing disposition. Her positivity. And my physical therapist. Well, and her strength. credit. Well, the physical therapist gets it too, she's but since to the think. beginning. She's telling you what to do. You're doing it. Right. Yeah, but she has right. pushed me and like helped me with the mental part too. Okay. Yeah. So right. shout out Jordan. Does Jordan watch the videos? She doesn't, but I'll, I could tell her. Well, we're going to have to tag her. We'll have to tag her. What's her? Jordan? J Jordan, the physical therapist. Jordan, the physical therapist. We'll have to see. I'll have to find her on uh, Facebook out, and uh, we'll tag her in the video. And uh, let's give Jordan a shout out. All right, so we're going to put Muscles McGurk over there to work. He needs to help me move the barbecue grill again. And then Krabby, who's sitting behind me, I don't know if you can see her or not, is going to have to replace the two by fours that go under the wheels so they don't sink into the sand. We don't have topsoil here, we have sand. This is the part where I get hollered at. Probably. One of us will. Did you guys capture your your paint outfits on 
on video? We uh, we videotaped a little bit of the painting, yes. Look, I've been upstairs for how long? I still can't get the paint Oh, you've been nails. scrubbing? I've been sh up there scrubbing. <gasps> I'm getting ready to. So let's move his grill so I can go I get a shower. Need... But, uh, somebody want to help Vito get down the steps? Sir, you don't even need to go down the steps. Yeah, there's no need for it. All right. Well, you know he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Right. You ready to move his barbecue grill? Vito. Take him down and then I'll, uh, I'll meet you down. Whoa! Oh All right, he's down now. He's that... always doing stuff like this. <laughs> I'll tell you, I am one lucky guy. Not only did I get to paint all day in the blistering sun, I get to cook dinner. You don't come over here. For these two. I am so, so lucky. Oh, where's he going? I thought he was running away so he didn't have to be on video. Okay. Here's the other one. I woke her up from her nap because I said I was starving. Starvacating over here. We got bacon cheeseburgers. Hot sausage. It's going to be good. Oh, Krabby Bill here. <clears throat> didn't get any filming done today. This is the first time all day. Beautiful blue skies. But again, windy in North Wallace. 25 mile an hour winds again. We managed to uh, managed to get the uh, second coat on all the railings. So the railings and balusters are done. We're going to have to do some touch up, I'm sure, once we go to paint the floors gray. We're going to paint it the same color as the treks. I've probably told you that a half a dozen times already. But that's where we're at. I'm just sitting here now listening to this wind. Just cleaned up from painting. I think I'm going to go down and sit on the front porch. Uh, just sit there and relax, listen to some music. Unicorns known as a group of unicorns. What are they known as? A shimmer. A shimmer. Stevens on the board. A shimmer. Where were fortune cookies invented? China. Dad, she's in on this too. Thank you. Well, you don't have much time. What is the fear of fun cult? You should know this one, honey. I got it from you. And what the doctor said you were diagnosed with? Anyone? I know it was Cherophobia or something. Cherophobia, correct. That's three in a row he got. Which country invented ice cream? Good afternoon, everyone. Coming to you from Windywood, New Jersey, we're going to call this. Winds are blowing 15 to 20 out of the southwest again. Me and Krabby sitting up here on the second floor. There's a nice little breeze because it's warm, but uh, the House is kind of blocking it a little bit. The tree is uh, tree's taking a beating, so is the little palm tree here. And in the distance, although radar is not showing anything, got some thunder boomers out that way. I don't know if they're going to make it in here. They do appear to be getting closer. 
But with the southwest wind pushing, I just might not make it to Wildwood. Beautiful North Wildwood. Sitting here. No paint today. <laughs> Went for a nice walk and saw a friend of mine, Biagio, went over and saw him. And he gave us a jar of his homemade crushed red peppers. He grows his own peppers. He dries them over a four-year period. And then crushes them. The only thing we use them in, when we make crabs or mussels, super, super hot. Um, I'm not even going to show her. She's got nothing to add. Nothing. Nothing to add. Yeah, crushed red peppers. He's pouring them from one jar into another jar, and he's coughing away because it takes your breath away <laughs> just to inhale the fumes and the powder. Uh, I, of course, had the jar in my hand, my eyes tearing. Very well, Don't touch your eyes. Um, they're in the fridge now, which is where you have to keep them. And uh, he says he uses... Uh, Scotch bonnets, ghosts, some kind of ghost peppers, dries them out, regular uh, regular chilies and all that, uh, dries them all out, puts them in his uh, refrigerator, so that they sit there about four years, he takes them out and makes red pepper flake out of them. They're really good. Delicious on crabs. Let's see what she's got. All right, come on. What do you got? What's that? When are you going to make some crabs? What did I say to you last week? He asked me if I wanted some. I didn't want any last week. No. I said get the stuff from the store. I got it. Well, why didn't you tell me that? I would have went to 18th. I would have went to canals today and uh, got your crabs. Now it's next week. All right. See? I think it's the heat gets to them. I don't know. It's a <laughs> hormonal thing.